All right. I thought that we would go ahead and carve the, uh, excuse me, paint the bear scene so you could kind of see what we would be setting up here. We have the bears finished, the trees finished, and we will concentrate first on the bear because basically he is not a real, real difficult painting job. He will be a black bear, so uh, we're going to use our black paint. We may have to give him several coats. I don't know yet uh, how this is going to... But at basically the whole bear himself is going to be black except for the around the nose and stuff. There's it, it will be another color. But it's not a difficult painting job. I hope everyone has had a good day. It has been pretty busy where I work. So. Okay. Now, as we enter into the, I'm using a much larger brush, of course, for the body, but as we enter toward the facial part, I want to go to a little bit uh, smaller brush because there's an area I do not want to be black. And so, I can see now I'm probably going to have to give this several coats, which is fine. It soaks up pretty good. That's terrific. When we come down here around the face, the nose in here is going to be painted black, but this area in here will not be painted black. It's going to be painted another different color. So I want to, when I get close to that area, I want to uh, not uh, use a lot of black in that area. I am going to use like a golden brown in that area. Now, when you get to the, get you a smaller brush, and as you get to the nose in here, we want to just sort of put the black in there, but, but make it sort of So we go, of course, to the smaller brush like this. See what I'm saying? More in that than that sense. Okay. Now, I'll probably have to give him another coat, most likely. But let's set him aside. Let's let him dry. And let's tackle the, uh, uh, the, the uh, tree. And I'm, I've got a... Let's well, see what this is. This is classic green that I will be using here for the um, tree. So 
See? Very, very simple project to paint. Not a difficult project at all. This will be the classic green that we will be using on the tree itself. Which I will probably have to give several coats as we commonly say. get my bear out of the way. I'm going to drop some green on him if I'm not, not careful. I don't want that to happen. I don't, want, I don't want him to be a black and green bear. Go to a little bit smaller brush. As I get down towards the trunk, uh, so that I don't get it all over the... Uh... Now, on the trunk, we'll use a, a brown color for the trunk. Okay. need to let that dry which I think I'm going to and then we'll uh, Okay, so we have the bear and we have the uh, tree painted. And what we're, I'm going to do is let these both dry real well, and then we will. Uh, I'll paint the trunk, and I'll show you the rest of the bear we're going to paint. Okay. <laughs> 